Hello and welcome back to New Start. Uh, oh well, the New Start um, drivers log number ten. Um, we are in Cardiff and we are taking this trailer with a big track on it um, to, if I remember rightly, Manchester. Let's have a look. Manchester, yeah, TNT Express in Manchester. Um, it's paying us. 6,700 if we have no problems um, we need to take a break in about three and a half hours uh, but we've got 18 hours to do the job um, but it shouldn't take us that long to do I don't think it's 11 tonnes so it's not a completely heavy load so let's uh, jump in and get going uh, as per normal it's uh, England and it's raining so we've just got to make our way out of the quarry um, and uh, yeah, uh, get ourselves on the roads to Manchester uh, it'll be another city in England um, discovered, that's the word, discovered yeah, so we're still in the process of discovering places in the UK we will end up start going to European places soon. We were right down in the bottom of the uh, quarry. Normally pick up from there, but we were right down in the bottom. Um, as it's only 11 tonne, it's pulling reasonably okay. Um, I'll, uh, I'll have a dri our, our, our first driver is probably still on her load. She had six hours before she was done, so probably going to get a uh, a notification when she's completed the job. Probably halfway through this one, um, so we're pulling out of the uh, out of the quarry and we'll make our way to the um, main road. Before we get there, I'm going to have a quick look at the map and see if we can uh, just detour a little bit to get some discoverables. Uh, like I said, we've got about three and a half hours, probably by the time we get out of here, about three hours. When we are looking in, we need to be pulling in and taking a break. I don't know how long this is. Oh, we're looking at four and a half hour job to get there anyway, but we're going to take a break because we're not going to be able to do it. We're going to run out of time. But we've got 18 hours to do it in so we've got more than enough time to take a break um, yeah we'll probably take a break in a probably a couple of hours it's, it's 20 to 7 at the moment so that gives about 20 to 9 I need to get on the right side of the track as we're in the UK let's uh, put in here put the hazards on just in case somebody else comes along Uh, there we go. There's, she's all looking good. And so we've stopped raining now. We'll turn those off. We'll have a quick look. So from here we're taking a reasonably. Right, there's a stop there. On the next stop is going to be about there. Can we? Yeah, we can park on that one and that one. So anyway, it won't be that one too. You'll be looking at either this one or this one. Or maybe even that one on the M53, but then we're not far. Um, is it worth coming around and grabbing that one? Don't know whether that's going to make a big. Take that one out. Right, so 4 hours 22. And if we do that one, it's another 22 minutes just to nip through Liverpool. And pick up that discoverable. I think I might leave that there because that might, yeah, that might be worth doing. And then, to be honest with that one, we can pick up after we've delivered that because we've got our own truck. So yeah, I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to do discoverable there. An extra 22 minutes coming off through Liverpool because we're going to have taken a break. So, um, which is probably going to be on one of these here. So yeah. Let's get going. Let's is let's hit the road. Uh, 
come on in. Big enough gap there, I should have went. Come on. Wow, I need to get moving. This is ridiculous. After this one, they got no lights on them ones. Right. Yep, yeah, we've got the beacon on. Reasonably light load. So, yeah, I think we're going to probably look at stopping at the second. The second one, not the first one. Purely because it'll... Uh, be an extra couple of hours up the road. We'll be about halfway through the journey. Uh, sort of missed time that really. Could have done with uh, probably taking a break before we start. Um, but as it's only a short one, we might be able to jump when we've done this one. We might have enough time to do the eleventh, eleventh uh, job. But that'll be in probably that will will, will be in the next video. Um, but we may have enough time to do the next one before we need to take a break. Come on, he's coming round. You could have gone then. Come on, mate. We're going to be here forever otherwise. Well, may as well put the uh, brakes on. Of course, we want to see up the road. He's coming down. Nice. Right, we're on our way. What are you doing, mate? And where do you think you're going? Up on up a hill into a blind bend. Nice. We no overtaking signs. <laughs> oh, I know overtaking now because it's double white lines. A uh, little bit of a windy road this one, but nothing too uh, drastic. Yeah, there's the first one, 200 yards. We will uh, bypass this one. Cruise is set, I think we'll just take it down one. We're down 49, so we got a bit of a leeway. Only a done for speeding. The cruise is set and we're on our way. So it might I might do the next one or I might we'll see what we do with the time. We might actually if we don't get this next one, it might be the one after that. Or we might wait till we get onto the M58. The M58. There's a big service station just after the uh, junction the M58. Yeah, railway crossing. Keep it rolling slowly, and we should. There we go. No stop. Straight over the railway crossings. We 
We're doing good. Come on then, let's get going. So, anyway, um, not a lot of talking on this one. I haven't really got a lot to say, but um, we're getting dark again. Let's get the lights on. Yeah, so not doing too bad. Tenth load. Um, the garage is in its first um, upgrade, so I can have two extra drivers, including uh, plus myself. I have got one extra driver and another truck, and she's out on her first load. And we are, we're not too bad. We got 60, 60,000, 60,000, yeah, 60,000 in the bank. Um, we're not, I know we got a big loan, but um, we should, if we keep the good jobs coming in, be able to cover the uh, interest payments or the, the uh, loan payments. Um, and if we make some money, I might look at um, get a second truck and driver, and we we'll, would we'll fully max out Dover with two two trucks and drive two trucks and tr two trucks with drivers. With myself, the three of us running, we should actually start pulling some money in. And then once we pull some money in, when we get across to Europe, we will uh, get a depot over there. We could. If we're saying uh, a depot in every country, really should get one in Wales. So I'd need to get one over Swansea or Car Cardiff, and we need to get one in Scotland. So we'd have to get over, I think it's Glasgow or Edinburgh. Um, that would make me a UK wide, um, which wouldn't be a problem. Um, yeah, I think we're going to be pulling over soon because. He's yawning quite a bit. There are 17. I got quite lucky there. There was nobody on the road, but then we are getting late on. Thursday at 10 to 9 at night. I think the next services or the next pull in yeah feel false neutral there I don't know why I did that well I know I did that I, it, I got it right it just computer does love to give you a few false neutral every so often um, yeah the next um, services we will pull in for our break uh, we'll probably do a splash of fuel as well we we'll top her up. I know we're, we've only got we've got over half a tank, but actually we could probably leave it and then fill up when we get to uh, Manchester. We'll just take the uh, rest stop. Um, yeah, it's going to be a reasonably short one. I just thought, well, it's uh, just in time, and uh, I think it's uh, fragile. Uh, or not fragile, it's... Um, can't remember what the star is now. I'll have to have a look. But there was a time delivery because of two blue arrows. Um, priority. The star. I think the star is um, high value. High value. Here we go. Here's the services. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Turn those off, turn that off, beacon off. We should. Yep. We're all good. So, Kip, it's 10 past 9. There we go, 10 past 6. Lovely.
jump back in. Come on, people. Let us out. Come on, after you. Come on. We're all good. So, what are we looking at? Quarter past six, we should be there at nine, 25, yeah, just, just over three hours. We'll be there. We'll have a, more than a, enough time to sort out when we need to sort out. So we're just getting a quick drink of coffee. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I think if we get a uh, reasonably short one for Drivers Log 11, we could probably get a, a run in before too late at night and get the sleep schedule. Actually, to be honest, the sleep schedule there wasn't too bad. It was at night. And it just would be quite nice if we didn't have to do one during the job, but it don't take that long, does it? So it, I suppose it's not a problem. Oh. Keeps doing that. From 4th to 5th, it keeps. Perhaps I'm uh, going too quick and to give it a chance to register quicker. That's just a pain in the backside. Lovely sunrise over the mountains. Which they probably would be mountains in the north of Wales. Cruises on. Um, yeah, just waiting. I'll make our way now to the uh, M. I'm sure it's the M58. Um, that will be the next junction in 58, and then we're not that far from Liverpool. We'll spin around Liverpool, get that discoverable, and then it's off to Manchester. Deliver our load at TNT, and uh, yeah, that'll be number ten done. Um, uh, we've uh, we've hit the double figures. Um, yeah, I don't know how long it's going to take me to uh, bring in enough money to uh, move on to another driver, another depot, that sort of thing. We need to uh, have enough money in the bank to buy them, but uh, um, I don't re we're probably going to have to pay. Oh, you're joking. You... Oh, that was close. Get it? No, no damage. I love the AO when they're overtaking on a blind crest. They have no idea what's coming the other way. Good job I was uh, ready to react. That could have been very messy. Very messy indeed. Uh, hey ho. A little bit of a uh, tight S bend coming up. Uh, well, it looked tight. Uh, probably not as tight as I thought it would be. Um, just got to watch it. You don't want to be coming too quick. Don't want to uh, tip, tip the load. Uh, yeah, that's not as bad as it looked. It looked a lot worse than that on the uh, sat nav when it was at a distance. I think that's the last services for it, the M58. I keep saying M58, I'm going to probably get there and find out it wasn't the same like the M56, was I? I'm going to drop a gear for this one, it's, oh, it's uphill. I'm slowing it down to make sure we get round with no problems. Still struggling to get used to right hook. 
right hand drive sorry um, so I've been playing the left hand drive for so long because I've been sort of doing a lot of uh, European work on the other ones it's a lot easier to have a uh, left hand drive when the majority of your jobs are 95% of your jobs are in Europe and you're driving on the right hand side of the road uh, but as we started in the UK we need to have a right hand drive so let's see in the A483 Shouldn't be the 483, that should be the uh, motorway. That's the <laughs> M53. Well, I know it was the M50 something. Love the job. There was the big services if we had uh, have made it there. We probably no, uh, hour fifty two. We might have made it there. Yeah, it would have been uh, tight. about 58 just two below the speed limit and we shouldn't be long from Liverpool really we're only 71 mile away we should be coming to Liverpool soon quick nip through Liverpool pick up discover Liverpool pick up that discoverable move on to Manchester discover Manchester do a delivery and then yeah I will, I will probably nip round them while, while uh, once once this is done, I will have a quick cruise around, pick up the discoverables in Manchester, and then uh, we'll be ready for driver's log 11. Um, yeah, we're doing well. We are doing well. There we go, Liverpool. Hey, M56. I knew M56 was coming up. Yeah, so we got on the M53. Which turns to the M56. Hmm. Oh, I've uh, slowed down a bit early there, haven't I? Wow. I didn't look out for the markers, did I? Turn that off now because we're there. And okay, I mean, it's Liverpool. See if we can get into five of that in a neutral again. Yep, that's better. A little, just a little bit more precise going in. Too quick coming from fourth to fifth. Right. Now we'd be coming into a thirty at some point. Right, so is it going to be a dealer or is it going to be an agency? It looks like it's an agency. Right, the young 
messing around waiting. There we go. Agency found. I'm quite happy with that. So, any ideas where if we are wherever I should look at getting a uh, second driver at Dover I know we're going to be quite a way off from that yet as we've only got 16 I suppose I was already through the light no way oh I was through that light long before that light changed I just got a fine for nothing that is annoying oh well annoying not happy with that anyway saying that just, there's some money taken on me but do I look at getting another truck and drive for Dover or do I save up enough to open the problem is if I do that I've got to do the depot and I'm going to have a depot sitting there actually I'm probably better off getting another truck and driver then opening the depot and I can move from the UK depot to the, the European one because it'll be a new depot and setting up I suppose you can be setting it up getting some routes planned and then get other people in yeah that's going to be the way to do it and uh, there's no point buying another depot before we get a, a second driver because um, you're just, you're just going to have a depot sitting there empty while you then have to make more money to get another oh what you'd end up doing is only not moving to that one you'd have one drive from Dover and then me in there and that's that's not that's just not cost effective you're not going to be pulling in enough to justify two depots with two drivers yeah I think we need to do a, a second driver in Dover then look at a depot wherever we're going to go um, and then either move a driver there or I move to that one uh, that's a long way off yet we've got to get enough truck and driver yet and then it's going to be a bit of a slog to get the money to get another depot I think we're looking at about probably 150, 180 for a right. So 30 miles, and we will be at Manchester. We're going to stay in this lane because we're going to slip straight back off again. Well, that's not too bad, a nice reasonably short run and we discovered two two cities an agency and uh, we will have, we'll discover something in Manchester whether that be an agency or another dealership but I think now we've uh, discovered a couple of dealerships now won't we Well, now we've got DAF now, and I'm sure we've got Mercedes and we've got Iveco as well, haven't we? Still need to get the Volvo. Final leg of the journey 22 mile. Let's 
to the uh, slow lane. Well, we're still at 60. Slipping off here into Manchester. I don't even know where we're on now. M62. Okay. <laughs> right. Here we go. <coughs> Lock it into Manchester. Then a whole gear. Don't want to be putting too much on the corner, it's quite tight. Pull over to the inside lane before the car comes up the side. A bit harsh. Left it in gear. Uh, uh, Volvo in front. Jump back in the cab because we're going to get through this. That map up in the middle. Don't need that, it's got me sat in there. there. And we should should pop up with a discovery Manchester soon. We're near enough in there. Probably as we get in here, I'll just as we turn left. I would have thought that would have been down that we discovered Manchester now because we're actually in Manchester. But what am I to know? I set the boundaries. I didn't register that I'd gone into third. Right, so it should be just up here. Right off the roundabout and then in. So there's TNT there, just on the right. That's where we're going. Well, we're going to that orange and white building mark to it. Many bays, there we go. Nice and quiet. Right, 
right, where do we want it? Right in front of us. Right there next to that white curtain cider. Is that a curtain cider? No, it's a box trailer. Box trailer. Right, so we've got that one. I think I've we'll totally fluffed that one. And it's a steering axle trailer. Don't know how I miss that one. That should have gone in there sweet as anything. God. Making a right pigs of this. Come on. That'll do. Right. Done. Delivered. There we go. Uh, distance times mile. Uh, time taken because we had a break. And 20. Uh, What's a proficiency bonus? Oh, that's right. Level 5. Uh, long distance train moving. Yeah, so we don't get. We only need to. Oh, let me look at the skills. Yeah, I'll start. I should have got the high value one. I'm sure that's high value. Uh, yeah. Need to start looking at high value and just in times. But, oh well. Right, anyway, that's uh, log 10 done. And, uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Catch you next time. And uh, we will be pulling out of Manchester and see where we can go. See where we're going to head further north or go east. But uh, we'll have a look around. So I'm going to go off and get the discoverables in Manchester and find another load ready for um, Drivers Log 11. Thank you for watching. See you again soon. Bye.